What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. Today we bought a brand new house in this quaint little neighborhood and uh, bam, check it out. Oh my goodness, this thing is enormous. We've got to get to the corner over here just to see how big it is. We've got five bedrooms plus a basement in this bad boy. It's going to be one of our biggest flips ever and uh, I'm kind of excited. I was trying to figure out a theme for this episode and I think we're going to go with like a... Uh, the ultimate gaming house. So I think we're gonna turn every bedroom into a specific theme around a game. So like obviously we'll have a COD room, we'll have a Fortnite room. I mean Subnautica is huge on the channel right now, so maybe we'll have a Subnautica room. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. But I just I thought that could be could be kind of a cool idea. So I'm gonna go around. We gotta get all the dirt off this bad boy. It's kind of crazy how dirty this thing is. So we're gonna go around the outside, make sure it's all spick and span. Yeah, look at this, dude, this is disgusting. Who doesn't take care of their stuff? And get all this, looks nice now, looks much, much better. All right, we're all clean on the outside. Now let's see what we've got going on on the inside. Judging off the outside, I'm assuming the inside's gonna be pretty rough. I guess this isn't bad. Okay, so we've got all that. Go ahead and open this. This is gonna be the bathroom. This is another extra little room. Little office. Where's the basement at? Ah, it's right here. All right, so we're gonna go down to the basement. We've got a, uh, a relatively unfinished basement here. We could keep this separated into multiple rooms, but to be honest, I'm probably gonna end up opening all this up. I really like open basements, so that's, that's kinda cool. Uh, we've got an upstairs as well, which I'm assuming is where most of the bedrooms are gonna be. We've got a room here. We've got a room here, we've got a room here, we've got a room here, and then a bathroom. Oh man, that's rough. Four bedrooms, all sharing one bathroom. That would not be fun, but uh, all right, cool. This is a start, I'm down for this. I'm gonna say let's go ahead and start getting rid of everything. Let's just sell everything in the home and we're gonna start from fresh. Even the lighting's gotta go, man. We need to we need to get rid of everything. Everything's a little bit dated in here. I'm gonna get rid of all the radiators and stuff. Toilet and sink will place in new positions. Also gotta do a little bit of cleaning. Whoever lived here was pretty dirty, I'm not gonna lie. Get to the upstairs here. I'm gonna remove all the radiators in the rooms. I just think they're really ugly. I hate putting radiators on in this game, so we're gonna we're gonna pretend like we've got some. Some central HVAC, we don't need radiators in every room. I truly wish we had more bathroom options. I actually don't even want to sell this because we can't get that, that sink anywhere else. They did announce that they've got a new, uh, they've got a new, what's it called, coming out? A new uh, DLC coming out where it's gonna have new bathroom options, but that's not out yet, unfortunately, so. Looks like that's all done. I think the next thing is we're gonna have to go through and we're gonna have to clean every stinking window in this house. So I'm gonna work on that. That's gonna take me a good like 15 minutes, seriously. And uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. And just like that, we are good to go. Check it out, boys. Not a streak was left on these windows. We get the sun shining in through them. They look really, really nice. All right, cool. So uh, I think we're gonna start with the upstairs just cause like I said, I wanna make each bedroom a certain gaming theme. And obviously this is where all the bedrooms are. Maybe we'll do a different theme for like the, the kind of main floor as well as the basement in the next episode. We'll see what happens. But uh, these are where all the bedrooms are. So we're gonna focus on these things. So we've got four bedrooms. We've got to think of the four games we want to represent. So obviously COD and Fortnite. I think Subnautica could be cool. And then what should we do for the fourth one? I mean, maybe like a racing game like Forza or something like that. I think that could be kind of cool. So I guess let's start with the bathroom just because that's obviously not, whoa, look at all the lights on this thing. All right, cool. Uh, obviously the, the bathroom isn't going to be all that themed so we've got a, a you know a toilet there i'm gonna say bathtub i like tubs man i'm a fan of tubs so we're gonna go in for uh installations we're looking for a bathtub plumbing system we're gonna center this bad boy right there go ahead and unscrew these things and then we're going to be good to buy a tub so we're gonna go in here bathtub I feel like we never do the oval one. It's just, it's it's a little different, a little odd. It doesn't look uh, kind of centered in a sense, but we'll go with the oval one here just to, to mix things up. We always go with the square one, so. All right, this looks good to me. Go ahead and put this thing in here, put that down, put the screw on. 
Move that thing in there, put that on. And that thing, the little cover cap, put that in, put that in, put that in, screw these in. And we are gonna be just about good to go. We've got the faucet on, get the cover in, boom, we're done. Yeah, I don't know, it's it's kind of weird how it's like not, you know, even on both sides, but that's all right. Okay, cool. So we've got that. What do we want to do? We obviously want a mirror of some sorts. Man, I really, I like the fact that we have that different type of, uh, of vanity there. I like that a lot better than, than most of the ones that they have currently. All right, that's going to drive me nuts because I don't think... Oh, we can't center it. Okay, cool. So we've got that. Definitely gonna want uh, the sconces, the double bathroom sconces. We'll put it right above the, the mirror. Boom, that looks good. And then what do we wanna do? I feel like the tiling is kind of boring. Let's get some new floor tile. So we're gonna go in for floors. Um, what do we want for floor tile? I feel like this, the checkered looks cool. So I'm gonna go for the checkered. Looks good to me. Kind of a cool bathroom. And then maybe like, maybe like a gray wall. I don't know. It's going to be kind of a, kind of a boring bathroom. Silver Glacier. We'll try this. Let's see what this looks like. I don't want it to be too dark. I also don't want it to be too white, too light. All right. Looks good to me. I'm trying to think of a, what's a, a video game that has to do with bathrooms. You know what I mean? Like, is there any sort of weird painting or something we could put on the wall that kind of keeps the theme alive I'm not sure like I feel like we need a giant painting on this back wall overall this bathroom looks nice I think it turned out really really well I just feel like we we need something more you know what I mean I just I don't I don't know what that would be okay so I just I looked up abstract video game art and uh, I found a, a decent one uh, we're gonna add a photo here and we're gonna go for this. So this is like an abstract Donkey Kong painting, the, the old school Donkey Kong game where you had to dodge the barrels and stuff. Oh shoot, here we go. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna place that there. Doesn't like super fit, but I guess that, that just kind of continues to tie it together. I couldn't figure out, like I, I was trying to think of a, a game where like a bathroom or something really, you know, tied into it, but I couldn't think of it. So, all right. That looks good. We're gonna go ahead and shut that. Sounds good to me. Now, I say we, uh, obviously we've gotta paint all these walls here. We're just gonna paint them white. Just wanna get it over with so it looks nice. So let's go into the store, walls, paints. We're gonna look for white or we could do like a cream or something. I don't know. Probably just gonna do white cause we're gonna get really, really crazy with, uh, with the, the bedrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this real quick just to get it over with. Getting the base here by the stairs as well. All right, we're all good to go there. So that just looks a little bit more complete. We've also got some lights in here. Nice, those are already set for us, but where do we turn those lights on is the question right here. Nope, that's the light out here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Um, there's, no, there's no light switch for this room. I feel like it should be on the interior right here. I'm gonna try putting a light switch in. I, th I think you can. Installations, light switch, standard light switch. All right. We can put that in right here. But that's not affecting it. Maybe we have to put it up top. We'll try putting it right here. Doesn't really make sense though. I would think you'd want to be able to turn the hall lights on before you got to the hall. Okay, they're on now. Nice. All right, good stuff. So, now we've got four bedrooms. Let's get rid of all the lights. We're gonna start with blank canvases. And uh, like we decided, we've got COD, Fortnite, Subnautica, and a, uh, a racing game. Starting with this room here, this is the biggest one of the four. So we're gonna give it to COD. I mean, that's my baby. Obviously, I don't play it as much like lately, but uh, I, I still love it. Still got a soft spot in my heart. I'm hoping to get back into it this year. We'll see what happens. But uh, I'm thinking we go, let's go with a, uh, a dark, like a darker brown floor. And then, is that gonna look good or do we wanna keep the normal brown? Yeah, that, that doesn't look bad. I'm gonna go with a darker brown floor and then kind of like light, lighter tan walls. So that's just kind of like, a, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a cod color. Not to mention this kind of looks looks like a tiger camo a little bit. If you had a brown tiger camo in the game. So we've got that. And then yeah, we're gonna go with like a, 
a lot, or, or should we go with like black and orange to strictly, because I don't really want to only do black ops. I kind of want to have it be all the CODs. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with like a lighter, lighter tan, like a light cream. All right, I think that's going to, I think that's going to look good. Let's go ahead and grab our paintbrush, see what this looks like. I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty traditional. And like I said, that way, I mean, we can cover all of the Call of Duties not just the the black ops series so i'm gonna go ahead and paint this room up i'll see you guys in a sec and voila all right here we go boys we are uh we're gonna go we've got a blank canvas here so i guess let's let's start with lights i think we're just gonna keep those same uh the same lamps all throughout those like recessed lights i just feel like those look really really nice they don't really take away from anything so we're should we do should we do two rows i feel like we should probably do two rows i'm gonna try to keep these even you guys know I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but it's definitely not easy. There we go. That looks pretty good. We've got nice, uh, nice even lighting all throughout. Okay, now we need to think about, I guess, first of all, we should start with furniture, and then we're going to worry about the paintings and stuff on the walls. So, uh, obviously, we're going to need a bed. <sighs> That's going to be tough. So, furniture, beds. Which one of these looks like a cod bed to you guys? I feel like it's... It's gonna be really hard to get something that looks like a cod bed. I feel like that's that's not that's not gonna be easy. Unless we can change up some of the colors and stuff, but still, I mean, let me see this bedding. I'm trying to find something like that could be like sand, so maybe the Modern Warfare series, but I don't know, dude. I'm I'm trying to see here. I think if anything, we could just go with like a very, a boring bed. You know what I mean? Like we could just go with a boring bed over here and that's, that's all we need. All right. Yeah, that, that doesn't look bad, I guess. I don't know. There was nothing in there that I could find that like really said Call of Duty to me. So anyway, we've got that. I guess what else do we need in a bedroom? We need like a, a clothes dresser. I mean, this, this matches pretty well. So I guess... Where do we want to put this though? Maybe like here? What if we take this bed and we move it and we put it in the corner like this? I guess technically the bed has a drawer so that could be where you put clothes and stuff. Yeah, you know what? I, I think that's a good idea. I don't think we need it to be honest. So we're gonna go ahead and sell this. Let's put a desk there instead. I feel like that would be way more useful. Uh, so we're gonna go, I mean, a standard desk is fine with me. Let's get it to that beach color so it, it matches the bed. So we're gonna put the desk in the corner. Like I wanna make this gaming theme, but I also want it to be functional. Like the point is we're flipping the house, you know what I mean? So we've got a desk there. We could put a, uh, where's that little like desk lamp? Something like that's kinda cool. So we'll, we'll put the desk lamp on there. Let's go ahead and get it spun around there. All right, looks good. We're gonna need some sort of a chair. That's not bad right there. Kinda fits with everything. Gilbert chair. I feel like the office chair is too big and bulky. I might, I might try this. What if we just went with the black? Yeah, I feel like, well, is there a gray? What if we went with the gray? I feel like that kind of fits the, the bedding and stuff a little bit. So we're gonna put it in there kind of sideways. All right, that looks nice. I like that. Uh, we could put a PC in there. So we're gonna grab the, the Phoenix computer. We're gonna buy that and we're gonna throw it Inside this little thing in the desk. I haven't seen a desk like that that holds a computer in a really long time I remember those used to be those used to be the thing So we're gonna need a monitor um, We're just gonna get the normal monitor the HD monitor is ridiculously large So we've got that and then we're gonna do a keyboard And a mouse Keyboard $70 keyboard dude that might that must be like a, a razor. You know what I mean? It's got to be a nice one keyboard and a mouse so we can play can play our cod unfortunately we don't do we there's no video game systems in this is there like um like playstations and stuff i don't think so i think we've done dvd players before so we're gonna do a dvd player and that's gonna that's gonna be our playstation 4. there's not really a good spot for it though i guess we'll, we'll put it over on the edge kind of out of the way all right boom so we got our nice little gaming setup there i like it now we need to figure out plants and kind of other little decorations as well as uh, as what we want to put on the walls. I say we grab some ferns first and we're going to put these on the, the window sills just to add a little bit of color, a little bit of green into the room. I don't know, maybe 
Maybe you're a sniper, you like ghillie suits, and they'll, you'll feel right at home in the bushes there if you like to camp. But uh, anyway, so we've got that. I'm gonna say, let's let's get, you know, we need a, a couple other small decorations. I really like, I like this thing. I think this thing's cool. So I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna buy one of these and maybe maybe put it here. I feel like that's kind of cool. A little bit crowded, but, but pretty cool. All right, we've got that. Now we're gonna get into the paintings, and this is where this is where we're gonna have some fun. So I uh, I just kind of you know thought of some random things, and then like Google image searched Call of Duty and picked out some of the the ones I thought might might fit well in here. So we're gonna see what we got. First of all, we've got a COD 4 10th Prestige emblem. So I'm gonna buy this thing, and we're gonna we're gonna put this back behind the computer. Might need to make it just a little bit smaller. So we're gonna put this. Put this like right there. I, I like that. All right, so we've got our tip prestige emblem. Next up, we are gonna go with, um, I like this one. So this is the, the year in a COD player's life. Now obviously last year kind of threw this off because the game came out earlier than November, but go crazy about the new COD, enjoy the game, hate the game, say how the old one's better, and then go crazy about the new trailer. That's literally every year in a COD player's life. So we're gonna put this next to the 10th prestige emblem. So we're gonna, we're gonna throw it up like, like right there, I feel like that is pretty accurate. Next up, we've got this wall here, and uh, I think I'm gonna go with, uh, we're gonna go with Rust, dude. One of the best maps of all time. I absolutely love this this map, and I'm thinking that if it's on this wall, we're basically gonna go to bed every night, and we're gonna be thinking about quick scoping noobs with the intervention and just laying down the law on Rust. So, uh, boom, we've got Rust there. I like that. I thought about going with like Shipment, or, or, you know, obviously there's some other 1v1 maps, but personally to me, I feel like Rust was my favorite 1v1 map. So we've got that. Uh, what else can we do here? We've got a little space on this wall. I saw this one on Google and I just, I don't know, dude. Riley, I miss you, Riley. Wasn't the, the best game ever. I had a fantastic campaign. Multiplayer, honestly, I don't think was as bad as a lot of people are making it out to be. But uh, it, it definitely wasn't one of the better ones, but I, I miss Riley for sure. So we've got uh, Riley from Cod Ghosts there. And then on this last wall, we've got a very important one. So we need to set up the shrine beforehand. So we're gonna go with a, uh, we need some sort of a, some sort of a desk. I'm thinking like a, a simple table. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with, with, with nut. Should we go with nut? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm not sure. Should we go with all white? Let's try all white. Yeah, I think I think all white looks good. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go with the table here, and then we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need some candles. So we've got candle small and candle big. So we're gonna line this bad boy with candles. I'm gonna put actually, you know what? We'll do two bigs. Oh, you can change the color of the candles. I didn't know that. I think we're gonna stick with white though. I feel like that kind of fits fits what we're doing here. So we're gonna go two bigs and and four smalls. Gonna kind of mirror it on each side. All right, that looks good. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna take a photo of the Lord and Savior David Vonderhaar, and we're gonna we're gonna make it extra big. What? Why can't we put it on the wall? Is the table too close? Oh man, all of our candles fell. Hold on, maybe we need to put this on the wall first, and then we can move the table up against it. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. So we're gonna we're gonna put that there, and then we're gonna have to move this table back. And then we're gonna have to very carefully pick up all of these candles. This is not ideal. Last one here. All right, we're good to go. So we've got David Vonderhaar on the wall behind the table. I say we need to light him up a little bit more though. So we're we're gonna go with, uh, I think those bathroom sconces would be good. Just cause they, they kinda, kinda, I don't know, light it up directly onto the thing. So we're gonna put that there. I was gonna do three, but I guess three won't fit. We should probably space these a bit better. So we're gonna grab, grab these and move it over just a little bit. All right, boom. So we've got that, and then I feel like we need we need more light, dude. He he's the 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 golden boy. So we're gonna go with lamps. Um, should we do some? Let's do some balls down the side. This this is gonna be ridiculous, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro! All the way down the side. Just a, a, a gift from heaven. All right, there we have it. The David Vonderhaar Shrine. I just, I love that face. I don't even know where that's taken from, but it was the first thing that came up 
on uh, on Google. So anyway, yeah, there you guys have it. That's our COD room. Pretty pretty good. I, I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, you know, I, I, I particularly like all the images we chose. I think we got some good ones in there. All right, cool. So that room, we're going to say, is done. Let's shut the door on it. Now we're going to move on to this room. And I guess this is going to be the Fortnite room. So I think we're going to have to start off with paint, obviously, and, and floor and everything like that. So for the floor panels, I feel like green, because there's a lot of green in Fortnite. And then I think we're going to make the walls purple. So we're this this room's gonna be gonna be pretty ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. I think we should actually hold on. We should we should get some lights in here. We're gonna get those those um, ceiling lamps on. Whatever they are, the what are they called? These things, halogens. All right. So we're gonna buy many of these. I'm gonna set these up, and then we're gonna talk about paint because we're really gonna go crazy. All right. So the lights are in. Turn these bad boys on. Looks pretty good. So we've got that that kind of like green grass down there. Nice. And then we are gonna go with some paint colors. And I think we're gonna do alternating, so it's gonna be like one color, next color, next color, that sort of thing. So, obviously we're gonna need purple. Purple is a, a huge, huge Fortnite color. So I'm looking for a, a solid purple, alluring lavender. All right, that looks good to me. Now after that, I'm thinking, what, uh, like a blue. Blue, like, uh, what's the, we need like a, a lighter blue. We should make it like llama colors. So we're gonna go with a sky blue here. We'll buy one of these. And then the last color of a llama is more of like a royal blue, right? So we're gonna go with that. I think we're gonna go with three colors. So this is gonna be kind of interesting. But yeah, we're just gonna kind of layer it. So it's gonna go purple, blue, blue, purple, blue, blue, purple, blue, blue. So I'm gonna go through, we're gonna paint this. It's gonna be a little bit ridiculous, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. And just like that, we are done. All right, I don't know if I would like this as my room personally, but uh, I don't feel like it looks too bad. Like it's 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 kind of cool, I guess. So we've got that going on. Now, what do we want to do for like a bed and stuff? Hmm, we're gonna go into furniture. I think there's a, a good purple bed, I'm pretty sure. Um, which one is it though? Is it this that you can make it all purple? No. There's one where you can make it pretty much all purple, and that's the one I'm gonna go with. Ah, uh, here we go. Just like this. Boom, look at that. That's a Fortnite bed if I've ever seen one. All right, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and buy this thing. Throw that in there. Looks good. Just like that. All right, so we've got that. Then over here, I think we're gonna go with kind of like a land setup. So I'm gonna get some, some hanging TVs. And we're gonna set this up so, oh shoot. I was gonna have four of them, but I don't think they're gonna fit across. I guess, I guess we'll just have to, have to do three of them. We'll do trios, I guess, I don't know. So we're gonna set that up, set that up, and then set this one up. All right, looks good to me. We're gonna need, uh, need four, four consoles underneath, unfortunately. There are no video game consoles in here, so I'm just gonna choose DVD players. Why Why can't I? There we go. So we're gonna choose four DVD players. Set one there. One there. And then one there. And then, uh, I don't think you can get a video game controller, so we're gonna be, we're gonna be tryhards, because I feel like that's all Fortnite is anymore. That's why I haven't really been playing it as much lately. Why is this not working? We're just gonna have to go, go the old way. For some reason, sometimes this game is, is really weird. They're like weird little bugs and stuff. So we've got our we've got our Zim set up and we're gonna be keyboard and mousing on console, which is is kind of embarrassing. I just realized these DVD players are the wrong way. But yeah, dude, I don't know. I, I haven't been playing Fortnite as much lately just cause it's like, it's just crazy. It feels like every single match is a scrim, which is fine if that's what you're looking for. And sometimes I'm in the mood to like super try hard even though I'm, I'm not that good. But I just like, I, I miss being able to like chill out and not not try hard every single game all the time. So we've got that, and then we've got that. All right, cool, looks good. So, boom, there we have it. That's our uh, our little Fortnite setup. We need some some table stands, some little little tables, table side, whatever you want to call them. What are they called? Bedside table. All right, so we're gonna go, let's just go with white. We're gonna buy a couple of these, put one on each side. Definitely gonna have to get some plants in here as well because bushes are a huge part of Fortnite. So we're gonna go for uh, for decorations. What looks the most like a bush in the game? I honestly, I, I feel like it's probably the fern. 
So let's go with that, but then we, we've got pink and lily options. So I'm gonna go with lily. We're gonna put one on each side. One there, one there. I didn't choose the bush life, the bush life chose me. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we've got to get some uh, some paintings on the walls. You know what? I just just realized that I forgot one of the images I wanted to put here in the cod room. Um, so we're gonna go into our camera, take a look here. The supply drop. You can't you can't have cod without supply drops. You know what I mean? Especially the the AW supply drop that started everything. So you know what? Oh, this is this is gonna fit perfectly under the window. Boom. There we have it. Honestly, that probably could have gone here or here because that's that's one of the, the the biggest changes God has ever had. But anyway, yeah. So that room's officially done now. Anyway, we're back at the uh, at the Fortnite room. So I've got some images here. Um, we are gonna start off with a selfie of Tifu, because obviously he's a big deal. So we're we're gonna put Tifu on the wall, right? Like that. All right, looks good to me. Holy cow, that takes up the entire wall. So we've got that. I also went with uh, Kevin the Cube, dude. I miss Kevin. Rest in peace, Kevin. We'll never forget you, Kevin. I'm gonna say let's let's make him a little bit smaller and then we're gonna put him underneath the window. So we've got Kevin the cube right like that. Looks good. After that, we're gonna take uh, the best season in the game, the season that I miss by far the most. Where can we put this? We need another kind of like flat area. Yeah, just like this. Season two, absolute favorite season without a doubt. And then we've got uh, the last one that I chose was uh, Thanos, just because that was such a fun LTM. So where are we going to put Thanos is the question. Um, we could put him up there. We could put him, I guess we could put him over here. All right. That's kind of, kind of odd. I, I don't know. Hold on. If we move the season two over, we could put, we could put Thanos over here. I feel like like that might fit a little bit better just because I don't want one side of the window with an image and then the other side not all right boom there you have it guys that's our Fortnite room I feel like the Tfue image needs to be a little bit smaller so we're we're gonna make it a, a bit smaller that that looks a little bit better so boom there we have it guys I feel like it turned out pretty well like I'm, I'm happy with this Fortnite room like I said I don't know if I would want it to be my room but if that was your thing, then I feel like this this turned out pretty well. Our COD room as well. I do like how this turned out. Lots of nostalgia up in here. And uh, obviously, we've got two more rooms to go. So originally, I had said like a, a Subnautica room and maybe a racing game room. I feel like those aren't bad ideas. I feel like, like, I love Subnautica. Don't get me wrong. I'm having a lot of fun with it right now. But it's obviously not one of the major series that we've, we've had on the channel. Like, I, I'm thinking, you know, we, we could do, obviously, a GTA room. I think we 100% need a GTA room, so we're definitely gonna do that. We could make it like a Rockstar room, so you include Red Dead in there as well. But, uh, you know, that's definitely gonna be one of them. Then for the last room, what do you guys think? I mean, we, we could do racing, we could do Subnautica, we could do Assassin's Creed, that's been a huge series. Uh, we could do Halo, we could do like, Uncharted or The Last of Us. We could do a Spider-Man room because Spider-Man was so good recently. That would actually be pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. So this is gonna be our GTA room. We're gonna have like a big old picture of Trevor on the wall and stuff. And then this is gonna be the to be determined room that you guys are gonna choose down in the comments. So let me know what you guys wanna see. Leave comments. I'll make the room based on what you guys say. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later. Peace out.